Secrets of Crystals by Jenny Harding. Uh, so this is one of like three or four books so far that I've read that are Secrets of. And like the cover pages are like kaleidoscope mandalas and it's like really confusing for me. But at least it's consistent through the cover pages. But anyway, this, um, you get how to use intro, five chapters, uh, one being a directory, and it has, like, um, sections. Like, it categorizes a few uh, of the crystals. Uh, you get glossary for the reading and useful addresses on websites. Like I said, for the meditation one, it can kind of be a bibliography, but not really. It, it is what it is. It's just useful resources that um, you can use on top of this. And to me, this um, this isn't your um, be-all uh, crystal book. Um, it's a nice little resource to have. Um, it's more of like a description of how to use these crystals. Um, or like a variety of crystals because you're not getting a whole lot of crystals um, and whacked at you <laughs> um, If you want that like an encyclopedia directory of like crystal information Check out the Judy Hall books um, I have I have her encyclopedia of crystals um, She has um, like How many volumes of her crystal Bible are there like? Six <laughs> There's at least three. I know that um, but this is more informational about crystals and using them. So you get like, um, topics like geometry of crystals. So, um, so like the shapes of them, um, main crystal groups, crystals used in history, um, and technology, keeping them. And then when you get to the crystals themselves, you get like um, some crystal facts here, like the hard, um, hardness, color, um, source, like geographical sources, rarity, form and structure, and chemical name. And then you get a bit of information um, quartz is the longest one, um, uh, like, obviously, because, like, there's a lot of it, and, um, different types, but, um, like, onyx, um, you get that thing, and then, like, a bit of information, and this weird Photoshop picture that I don't like, um, and a little bit of information, and then it goes into the next one. Um, but it can be a good jump off point, a good starting basis, um, a good resource, um, if you have, like, if you're the person whose focus is crystals, this could be, um, a helpful tool, um, for you, um, more on the informational side of crystals rather than, like, the metaphysical um, the metaphysical or, like, um, different uses, um, of it, like, say, the Judy Hall encyclopedias or whatever out there, but, yeah, different, um, different uses, um, and, like, in the different categories in the directory, they're not in, like, I didn't get that they were in alphabetical order, um, it may change, but from the version NetGalley, it's not in alphabetical order, so that might throw some people off if it isn't in alphabetical order. Um, but, yeah, it's a somewhat decent start. It's a nice other book to have um, in your crystal collection, but yeah, Secrets of Crystals. Happy readings.